so you know where the hell you're going. Ooh. Both. Revive, I could have fucking used that. Cancel. Water, that'd be helpful. So, uh. Chill out. Yeah, I could have used all those in like the last few fights. Yeah, let's just get to the point there, genius. And let's get four of those. And. Really, that's it. It's kind of weak. Hey, I can just sell the other stuff if need be. And I will. And I don't look, look at the damn countertop. Yeah, let's get it tomorrow. He's lagging behind. So much stuff and stuff. Actually, that crap. Might as well hold on to the roof the uh, gems for right now. Okay. Don't worry about those. Off with the old shit, in with the new. Alrighty then. Let's head out. Nice if Zola actually gave us directions to the inn. And also, if she's part of the the king's army and all that crap, can she be dressed like a soldier instead of like a common thief? I am just looking way too into this. Hey guys. Nah, it's nothing. Really now. Yo. Oh, just like the rest of everyone. Yeah, I need to rest after all that. Took a lot of fight out of me. Really? You're not gonna let me just rest whenever I please? Crying out loud. Well, maybe we should go see the king, too. See if he can answer some of our questions. Like, where the hell was he about ten minutes ago? I'm not worrying about healing my guys right now, considering they're automatically going to go to the inn and get healed anyway. You thought the town was big. Ooh, <laughs> this is just as big. And they won't get lost. Hell, I could just warp and heal somewhere else. So might as well continue on for the time being. A little puppy. Cool guy indeed. Except for the odd beady eyes. Whatever, old man. Got more important things to worry about than dogs. I am so gonna get fucking lost in here. Hey, it's Jero's parents. Yeah, I get lost trying to find the damn bathroom. I swear he's gotta be compensating for something. Yeah, he's definitely compensating for something. Also, did he paint his horse's legs like that? 
but we didn't use lead paint. Yeesh. Quickly try to find the way to the throne room. This should be it. Alright then. Oh, for crying out loud. They always have to stall me in one way or another. Looks like I'm not going in there either. Seems like they kind of structured this place without really putting much effort into where the placement of things go. Like the long hallway just for one room. Hi. Well, let's join them. Are you sure? If anyone's in here. Just one old bag. Yeah, you almost got mauled to death by steel eating tigers, but hooray, you get to see a castle. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get lost in this place. Either learning where everything is, or just learning where to go. That's interesting. Giant water cubes. Kind of odd. Damn, that is quite the view. God, how the hell do you not walk around here and get tired? Just pass out right on the rooftop. Really? Yeah, of course, you're not gonna let me into that. I blow the whole fucking town into smithereens. Well, we best look elsewhere, then. Can't exactly go to the throne room, now can we? Really, now? Check that out for ourselves. What goes up with this game's a fixation with the color white. I love shoving it in everywhere. I wonder who he gets to trim the lawn. If he gets paid well. Hey, Toripo-san will be pleased. Hey, there's the horse. He's got a lot of horses. I'm getting that over there. Seriously, what did you do to its legs? Calm your ass down, kid. Otherwise you'll be sent to the dungeon. It does look nice, though. I have a lot of upkeep. Then again, that's what you have servants for. Let's hope he doesn't lord his authority over me. Otherwise, that's gonna be fucking irritating. Yeah, I station every damn door. Why are they afraid they're gonna swipe the light bulbs? Of course. 
Marl's hopes are dashed immediately. Just near does the whole monocle thing kind of make you seem a bit evil? I don't really see a lot of good guys with monocles. Oh, what a dick. Hi. Weird bump on your head. Thanks. I'm not gonna get anything out of that, jackass. Should be on the other side of this hallway. This enormous hallway. I'm just looking for the right place to go, genius. Okay, go to that in just a second. Alright, that's kind of pointless, so let's head in here. Excuse me while I raid your shit. It's the old man. Yeah, they ain't got no place to live. Thank you. Now I can actually get things moving again. Alrighty then. Master Shu and the others. Well done. I'll take it from here. Follow me. Good job! Wow, I've never been so nervous. Don't do anything embarrassing. What's the big deal? We're not exactly fancy city people. Just try to be polite. Here they are, Your Majesty. People from Talta Village, state your names. I'm Shu! My name is Jiro, Your Majesty. And I am Kluke. Mano, mano! <laughs> well, I see we have a lively one here. Uh, hey, uh, King, thanks for the help back there. You are talking to a king here. How about being a little more respectful? Huh? It's all right. I assure you, you can all rest at ease. Your friends and family have been given shelter here in Gibral and are now resting. But I'm curious as to what brings your entire village to Gibral. It's Nene's fault. Nene? The creep who controls the land shark. Right! <laughs> you two act like you are brothers. Um, King Jabral, huh? we'll explain the whole thing to you. We'll never get anywhere with these two. We were just trying to make a long story short. Yeah! <laughs> Once a year, violet-colored clouds blow in, and then Talta Village is attacked by a land shark. The village has nearly been destroyed each time. So now it's completely uninhabitable. And everyone has been forced to seek shelter here in Gibral. Violet clouds. Once every year. Your Majesty. Mm hmm. Uh huh? Please. Come with me.
Uh, they had to force us to walk a few inches just to get over there. Also, I forgot to change the, the walking character, but oh well, I'll change that afterwards. Not that big of a deal. Here to the first time. Tsunami Vortex. Vortex? What does it do? Every year it descends onto this region from the sky, creating a tsunami. It always occurs in conjunction with the violet clouds. Violet clouds? It's Nene! With each storm, our kingdom suffered massive damage. However, about six months ago, our military managed to finally shoot down a flying ship, which came from the core of Violet Clouds. And we succeeded in capturing it. A flying ship? Maybe it was a mechat. We analyzed the flying ship, and devised a strategy to bring down the mothership that appears with the Violet Clouds. Oh, that's way cool! You gotta let me in on that! So hoping that you would say that. And how about the rest of you? Will you all join with me in the attack? Your magic would be a most welcome asset. Of course we'll help you. I thank you all. Shit's about to get real. Figure I might as well change the trigger right here. Call that smiling. We now know a disaster will occur each year. In fact, various disasters happen in other towns and villages as well. After what you've told me, I believe these disasters and the assault on Talta Village are the work of Nene. We were traveling the world to conduct research on the various yearly disasters. And actually, we were on our way home again when we came across you. Wasn't that a clever coincidence? Are we done? Down to the lab again. Shouldn't we rest up first? Then I expect to fight in this kind of state. That's not the lab. Alright. Let me heading way down. So that's the location where you can easily surmise where the hell it is. Based on the implies that's near the bottom. Or at the bottom. Seriously, I need to heal. Just not to worry about my guys dying anytime soon, unless it's a party wiping attack. I don't see too many of those, though. You don't really need a hallway this huge. The only thing you put in here was one chest. Soft dart. Well, we got permission. Kindly move your ass. Woohoo! I don't want to deal with you. You're kind of out of my league. As long as you don't kill me, buddy, then we're cool. Movie. 
This should be the lab. Yep. Scraps of everything right outside the door. Hey, that is a mech hat. That's the thing we were playing before when we first got the powers. Dude, what the hell is up with your your neckwear? Is that like a padded kind of thing for your head? Looks awkward. And then that meal village. Or Alpha. Alpha Beta and Yem. Yeah, what a surprise. Right on. Although it doesn't exactly do us a hell of a lot good just holding on to the thing, so we should have just taken it. How many of those spots are in this game? They must be freaking numerous. So numerous. How the hell did she get here this fast? Hmm. We're gonna shoot that bitch down. Keyword there being could, not well. Real there. Yes, I know about that. I've known about that forever. Sure. You do this often, Miss Zola? the same as you. I was ordered to swallow a ball of light by a stranger. Where? The same thing happened to us in Nene's flying castle. Well, I've never met anyone named Nene. The first time I heard his name was from your story. I... Experience. Just when I thought it was too late, time suddenly stood still. Only I was able to move. As a light sphere descended towards me, a voice echoed in my mind. It said, swallow the sphere and you'll gain the power to drive away evil spirits. recognize the voice? No. How about you guys? I'm not sure, but I don't think it was Nene's voice. Maybe there's someone else besides Nene. Someone else. Huh. Uh, it don't really matter. Yes, it does matter. There 
there's no doubt that someone wants us to use magic. They were really complicated plan associated with this. So I'm guessing. So I'm stealing your shit. You just have one gemstone in a chest in your room. Hope you didn't hope you didn't like it too much. Oh, I'm going there right now. Plus, it's just about time for me to call it a night. But I best hold my ass there. God, I wish I could end faster. Just I'll have to stop over by the safe point over in the courtyard. Because there's not one in here. Oddly enough. Hey, old man. Thanks for everything. Ooh, that cute little Popeye. Mr. Minister. Okay, I think this is where I'm going to call it a day. So, next time in Let's Play Blue Dragon, we'll head back to the inn and prepare for a hell of a war against Nene. See you guys next time. Peace!